Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into LMDE 7 GG, the Linux Mint Debian edition that just reached public beta. If you like Cinnamon but prefer a Debian base, this one's for you. I'll cover what's new, what's changed under the hood, who it's for, and whether you should try it today. In short, LMDE 7, codenamed GG, is a beta build based on Debian 13 Trixie, ships with the Cinnamon desktop, and brings many of the user-facing improvements from Linux Mint 22.2, while running on a long-term supported 6.12 kernel. It's a beta, so install it only on test hardware or a VM. What is LMDE 7 and why it matters? LMDE is Linux Mint's Debian-based edition. It aims to provide the Mint user experience without an Ubuntu base. LMDE 7 is notable because it tracks Debian 13 Trixie, which brings more recent packages and hardware support while keeping the Mint polish you expect. For users who want Mint's apps and Cinnamon but prefer Debian's base, LMDE is the middle ground. Key technical highlights. Here are the core technical points you should know. Base. Debian, GNU, Linux, 13, Trixie. Kernel. LMDE 7 Beta runs on the long-term supported Linux 6.12 kernel series, so you get relatively recent hardware enablement with LTS stability. Desktop. Cinnamon remains the only official desktop for LMDE 7 in this beta, and it ships with the Cinnamon release used in the Mint 22.2 line. Mint Features. Many in-house Mint apps and quality-of-life features from the Linux Mint 22.2 cycle, such as improved theming, XApp updates, and experimental Wayland support, are present. New and notable user-facing features. User-facing improvements inherited from the Zara slash 22.2 development stream include native fingerprint support via the new Fingwit app, enroll and use fingerprints for login, sudo, and screen unlock better theme lib adwaita compatibility, accent color support for flatpak lib adwaita apps, and updates to Mint's suite of X apps. Wayland support is being improved but remains experimental, so Xorg is still the safest choice for daily drivers. OEM install support. Why it's important. LMDE7 also adds OEM install support meaning manufacturers or refurbishers can pre-install LMDE on hardware for sale, a sign that the project is closing gaps with its Ubuntu-based counterpart. The Mint team emphasized this as an important step for distribution and resale scenarios. System requirements and availability. System requirements are modest. 2 GB RAM minimum, 4 GB recommended about 20 gigabytes disk, 100 gigabytes recommended for comfortable use, and a 64-bit CPU. LMDE7 beta images are 64-bit only and available now from Linux Mint's official mirrors. Remember, this is a beta release. Don't install it on production machines. Who should try LMDE7? Try LMDE7 if you want Mint's Cinnamon experience on a Debian base, enjoy testing betas and can tolerate ref edges, or you're an OEM refurbisher wanting Mint pre-installed. Avoid it on work-critical systems or when you need guaranteed stability. Use a VM or spare PC for testing. Quick install slash testing tips. Tips before you install. Back up your data, test in a virtual machine, VirtualBox slash VMware, or on a secondary drive. And check the LMDE release notes for known issues and workarounds before you begin. If you run into hardware compatibility problems, boot a live session and file a report in the Linux Mint forums so devs can track regressions. Conclusion. That's the quick tour of LMDE7 GG beta. If you want, I can make a follow-up video showing a fresh VM install, Fingwit enrollment, and Cinnamon customization. Hit like if that sounds good, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.